everyone and thank you for tuning in. This is Billy the Bengal. We live in Australia near Sydney. Today um, we were very excited to see this stream of water flowing along at the back of our house because Australia is a very dry country so to see this was very fascinating for us and uh, a little bit of a rare occasion. So Billy's natural instincts kicked in with uh, the Bengal's instincts being very investigative uh, cats. And here he is being investigative. He's looking to see where this water is coming from. And there he goes, he's wandering off to have a further closer look. And another Bengal trait is to be fascinated by water. You can see it here. He's loving it. He, you see, he wants to play in it. And that's another natural instinct with the Bengals. They don't mind playing in water. Let me know if, um, if your Bengal uh, likes to play in water or even if you have another breed of cat. Let me know um, what they're like towards water. Now right here, Billy picked up a scent of another animal. So we're going to go and investigate that now. And this is what we found. This is actual, real kangaroo fur. So during the night, last night, there was a, a fight scene between two kangaroos. Um, with the um, with the stream of water flowing along like that, it attracted the kangaroos to come and have a drink and to come close to the houses. And obviously, one kangaroo strayed into another kangaroo's territory, and this is the result. Nice big fight. This um, kangaroo fur was actually scattered around the field by about 300 meters, so they obviously chased each other around and fought each other off. Here's Billy investigating the fight scene and uh, having a good old smell of the kangaroo fur. Here's another pile, this was about 100 metres along and he's having another sticky beak. If you don't know what sticky beak means, it's an Australian term for being nosy. <laughs> And as we were walking along, we found these kangaroo paw prints or claw prints uh, in the dirt under some trees. Here is um, a picture of what a kangaroo claw looks like. So you can see the, um, uh, the prints there in the same shape with a little bit of fur, another little pile of fur. Now these were the kangaroos, uh, not the actual ones that were fighting, but these were the types that are around the area where we live. This guy stands eight feet tall. He's a big, big boy. And here's an example of two kangaroos fighting. This is what would have taken place during the night. Bang, that was a big hit, that would have hurt. This is how all the fur was scattered around all over the grass. Scratching and clawing and kicking each other. You can see the light colored fur on the belly. And then you can see the, um, the darker gray color on their backs, which was also scattered around the park. Okay, now back at the little stream. So Billy can check out the water and uh, have a drink, have a smell, play in his natural habitat. It's so nice to, to watch a, a Bengal cat, especially if it's yours, to uh, watch them play and have a good time. They like to climb up high, there he is scratching his claws, sharpening his claws I should say. And the Bengals love to climb up high and sit up high and watch everything down below. 
So there's another natural instinct right there. Now, if you were a cat expert or a cat owner, can you let me know what you think Billy is doing here? He did this for a good 10 minutes, just touching the water and uh, smelling it. And he was just mesmerized. Look at him. I was looking to see what he was trying to do, but there was nothing there absolutely nothing he just kept touching the water maybe he was fascinated by that moving water there how fast it was moving I'm not sure but if you know what he might be doing let me know in the comments so this was about 15 minutes later and it seemed like uh, Billy's body language by his body language he wanted to go for a swim or he wanted to walk into the water and play in there so I took off his harness then I put him near the edge of the of the stream and then he walked straight in and he's having a good old time Okay, the video is starting to get a bit boring now, <laughs> so we will leave it at that. Enjoy your day, take care, see you next time, bye bye.